Hi, I'm Shelly Levette with ChildCareLand.com, and today I want to share with you the iPad app called Math is Fun, ages 3 to 4. This app can be found in the App Store for 99 cents. There are 8 individual activities or games on this app. This is the front screen that you see when you enter the app after it loads. Um, I'll take you through the games. There's just a couple things I want to briefly touch on. Is that there are no instructions for these individual games, but most of, them, most of them are the same type of games, so after a while you'll figure out what to do. And also, it's limited to numbers 1 through 10 on here, so I don't know if it's really for 4 year olds, but maybe younger 3s, mid 3s, um, it just depends on the children in your early learning environment, but it does not go beyond number 10, and most of them are um, similar counting games, and I'll show you that. The first one is a dice game on here. And the children will need to count the numbers on the dice and drag in the correct number in the box. And that will be the scene after each set of um, each section of the game. Those colored circles will come in and close, open up, and then um, the same screen will appear unless you choose a different game. And, but there will be different numbers in that. So there's different numbers in this than there was at the first screen that we did. This is a farm game where you have to count tractors, sheep, bunnies, etc. on here. Uh, so there's four tractors, and there's seven sheep, and there's one, two, three, four, five, six, six pigs, but I'm going to put in seven so you can see what happens if a child puts in the wrong answer. It just pops back out, and they're given the opportunity to put in the right number then on there. So once this is off build again, those colored circles will come in, open up. These will all be in the same spot, but there'll be different numbers of them. Counting colored balloons. You don't have to count the colored um, balloons and put those in here. You can kind of see what I'm saying, that these are all the same kind of activities. They have to drag in um, the, the correct number on here. But for younger children, uh, I think it's fine. It's, I don't think it's anything that's going to really hold their interest too long. But it is 99 cents, and um, I don't know, I think it's cute enough. There's enough colors and um, variety of the pictures in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then they just fill that in all the way. Um, this one, I didn't really know what it was when I first saw it, because the first few games were counting games, so I thought this was a counting game, and I was looking for things to count, and then at first I thought it was the spiders. I tried to drag in a number four up here, and then I thought, well, maybe we're supposed to count the wood logs, but nope. It turns out that this is a number sequencing game, and children have to put the numbers in order up here. And I like this one. Um, the thing is, though, when you close those curtains, you open up, it's still the same scene, and just these numbers are uh, in here. So I, I would have liked to have seen a little more variety, but again, for 99 cents, it's not... It's not that bad. All right, we'll go back to choose a different game. This is counting fruit on a tree. There's three different fruits, pears, apples, and lemons on here. And you've guessed it. Children will count the number of fruit and drag up the cards on here. Oh, then just count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I was actually going to put eight in. There we go. And we have, um, do we do the transportation one? This is a transportation one where they do helicopters, cars, buses, and boats. Same, same thing. One, two, three, four, five, six on here. And you go all the way down. Some of these, when you do them, they'll make noises, make sound effects on here. This is where you count the spots on the cow. This was my least favorite, well, second least favorite, I guess, of this activity. Um, I didn't know if they were trying to have children make double digit numbers or if they just reverse where the cow and the rectangle should go on here for counting. But when you do these, it looks like they're making, you know, double digit numbers. So this is a seven, and then we have a one. I wasn't sure if it was really supposed to be the number 71 on here for three to four year olds or if this should have been moved here and the cow flipped over. But that's the way I would have done it, but I don't know, well, you know, that's that game. And the last one, this is my least favorite one, is dragging the shapes into the shadows because these never change spots on here. And so, 
you know, the shapes down in the bottom will change, but these spots will always be the same. And after a while, um, I think children will memorize that pretty quickly on that one. So those are the eight individual games. And again, for 99 cents, it's not a bad app. Would I recommend this app? Mm, I don't know. I, I think if it had more of a different variety than just dragging numbers into, um, you know, the squares, you know, maybe. But the children themselves, when they tested it out, they liked it. It didn't hold their interest as some of the uh, as some of the as, excuse me as some of the other apps um, that we have on the iPad. But th they seemed to have liked it all right. Again, maybe they were not so long. That was a good thing. They could move on to real world math and stuff math on the iPad, but I guess I'm kind of old-fashioned. I still believe hands-on learning activities are the best, but I know technology is becoming prevalent in the classroom, early childhood classroom. So, um, you know, it's great to have some games that children on a downtime can do that are educational and fun. For Math is Fun, ages 3 to 4, I'm Shelly Levette with ChildCareLand.com, and thanks for watching.